So here's a great little Power Query trick if you want to change a column heading based on its position because you can't refer to the actual label because it'll change every week or month or whenever you click refresh. So let me talk you through it. It's pretty straightforward. In fact, it's really easy when you know how. Okay, so I'm just gonna start a brand new Excel file and go data, get data, and then we're gonna connect that Excel workbook that I just had open. Okay, so from file and from my movie data. And I'm just gonna to connect to sheet one, right click transform. I'm so used to do that in Power BI. You can't double click in Power BI. In Excel, you can actually double click on sheet one, which I really like. I wish you could do that in Power BI. So I've pulled this in. I'm just gonna delete this pointless change type step because the headings haven't been promoted yet. So let me just delete that. Okay, now I do want to promote the headings. Okay, I want these to be the headings. But the issue is if I do this, okay, if I click use first row as headers, again, delete the change type step. I know I can turn that off in the settings, okay. But here we've got the date. And if I change that to date, okay, I am then hard coding in here, change this to date which isn't great, okay, that's not what I want because this will break the next time I refresh. Same thing for here, per city, I actually need to change that to cinema name. Okay, or cinema. Okay, so again, in the formula bar, right, not great. Okay, so what do you do? Right, check this out. Firstly, I wanna fill these down. So I'm gonna highlight these two columns, right click, fill, down, just to fill in all those elements, okay? And then I am gonna click use first row as headers. Delete the change type step. Okay, so my code hasn't yet referred to this particular column. Then here we go, here comes the fancy stuff. Right click, insert step after, okay? And in here, I just want the table column names, table column names names, okay, do the shift shuffle, shift down, shift open bracket, puts the open and close brackets in for you, press enter. So this little column is gonna be called um, cinema name. Don't put a space, it's easier when you're referring to it later, doesn't really matter, but okay. And what I actually want is Okay, if I go back here a second, okay, this is basically the first column. Okay, so column one, and that's the second column, etc. So if I come in here and put curly brackets and a zero, that's the first record. Okay, so that's position zero. And there we go, we've now got this. Okay, I'm gonna right click and I'm actually gonna, well, the easiest thing to do is copy this code. Right click, insert step after, okay, paste the code. And this time I wanna pick the second item, which is the date. Okay, and this one is gonna be called the date name. Okay. And then <coughs> I can go insert step after and refer back to promoted headers. So I'm back where I was. Beautiful. And now I'm actually gonna change these. So per city becomes cinema. This one becomes date. Okay, and here's my code. Perth City, see it's hard coded in, but rather than referring to Perth City, it's gonna be cinema name. And rather than referring to that particular date, okay, it can be date name. 
press enter and there we have it the code is now going to work but it never actually none of my steps if i go into the advanced editor here okay none of my steps anywhere have reference to the word per city or that October date. All I am reliant on is the fact that it's always column one and column two that I want to change. So there you go. That's the little trick. And then I can just basically come in here and say right click filter does not equal. And also I could get rid of the nulls. Ooh, can you not right click on nulls? There you go, text filter does not equal. Okay, so I've got rid of my nulls and my start times, and then I would just unpivot this data. So that column through to the screen, right click, unpivot other columns. And now that's ticket type, which I could rename. And then my value is my number of tickets sold. And I can analyze my data and then close and load this into Excel. Make sure you always detect your data types. So control A, transform, either change them manually or do this, transform, uh, detect data type. So text, date, text, date, time. I don't want that. I'm gonna change that purely to a time. Replace current. Okay, text, and then attribute becomes ticket type. And number of tickets and then finally this is my cinema sales home close and load close and load to a table an existing worksheet just there that'll do click OK beautiful data ready to do a lovely pivot table or some analysis or some slicing and dicing. There you go. Oh, and finally, a shout out to all the new members. Thanks for supporting the channel. So Daniel, Oluwashuen, Mood, uh, Islet GT, Chan, Willard, welcome to the channel. And again, to everybody who's been supporting for a longer time, you folks, thank you to you guys too. So check it out in the channel. If you wanna join the membership, you can get some early sneak peeks and a shout out on the channel. So yeah, thanks for supporting it. Catch you all in the next video.